All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the second part of the show, we are going to talk about the Jaguars' schedule for 2024. I'll break it down. I'll give you my early win-loss predictions for their schedule. So last year, of course, the Jaguars, it looked like they were going to lock up the AFC South. And it was after the win against the Texans late in the season. And things kind of fell apart. Trevor Lawrence got banged up. And, yeah, they ended up missing the playoffs. They lost that game to the Titans the final week of the regular season. And, yeah, they they missed out on the playoffs after making it in 2022. And they're kind of looking to turn the page on that and, you know, bounce back and have a good season. And Trevor Lawrence just got paid. You know, they also paid Josh Allen. Not quarterback Josh Allen, edge rusher Josh Allen. So, yeah, um... We'll see what happens. So here's the schedule here. And I was looking at it last night, you know, when I was putting it together, the, the graphic for it. And it is a tough schedule. It is a tough schedule. When you look at week 8 through 13, that's a tough stretch right there. Um, I know you got the Vikings in between the Eagles, the Pack, or Yeah, the Eagles, the Packers, the Lions, and the Texans. But, yeah, I mean, that is a, that's a tough stretch there. And even the beginning part of the season is tough as well. Um, so let's kind of go through it. So they start off week one against the Dolphins. So you got the two Florida teams going at it. And, you know, I think both quarterback, both quarterbacks want to prove something, but one quarterback has their new deal currently, and that's Trevor Lawrence. And Tua is looking for that new deal. And I don't know, for me, I I think the Dolphins, I, I, I think I picked them to win this game here. It's, it's going to be a tough game, I think. For the Jags, but you know, can they go in there and win? Of course, I, I think they definitely can. I mean, you also have to look at, you know, like I said, Dolphins, their defense could be missing some pieces still in Week One. I know, you know, a lot of guys got hurt on the defensive side of the ball last year, uh, so we'll see how relatively healthy the defense is going into this game. But I don't know, can the Jags keep up with this Dolphins offense? Because when it's clicking, yeah, it, it's you know. It's tough to stop, um, you know, at certain points last year. But that all depended on who they played because we just talked about how they struggled against good teams. But I think this the, the Jaguars could win this game, but I'm just going to lean towards the Dolphins. So then in Week 2, they take on the Browns. And the Browns are going to be a good team. You know, Deshaun Watson coming back, Nick Chubb coming back. I don't know. I think because the Jags are at home, I kind of lean towards the Jags because I do see Deshaun Watson still trying to get that rust off and struggling. Um, so I, I could see the Jags picking up a win here. So I, I, I think they could even out their record at that point. Then they take on the Bills in Buffalo early on in the season. And, you know, the Bills got some things that they got to work out. You know, um, they got a lot of new receivers. There's no more Stephon Diggs. The defense went through some changes as well. But I still think the Bills are going to be a good team. And I think this is a tough game for the Jags in this spot, so I'd probably lean towards giving them the loss. But they definitely could win this game. I mean, we'll see how the Bills are this year, um, if maybe they have taken a step back. But I don't know. I think because of Josh Allen, I I don't know. I I feel like the Bills are still going to be a good team. I I think I had them going 11-6. and Still so. We'll see. So, again, I I feel like the Jags, I think they'll upset the Texans. Um, Whether they're going to get them at home or in Houston, I think the Jags will find a way to win at least one of the games against Houston. So, I think maybe they lose against Houston early on. Maybe they get them later in the season. But, yeah, that's my thoughts. And then against the Colts, I think they, I, I I don't know. For me, I think they could split against the Colts as well. I got a lot of, the one thing, though, is I have a lot of teams splitting with their divisional opponents. But I, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I feel like if I'm doing that with a handful of teams, I, I they got to, someone's got to sweep somebody. But, yeah, so I, I think the Jags, they'll get back on track. They win against the Colts at home. Then against the Bears, that one's a tricky game. You know, I, I'd, we got to see how the Bears are early on in the season. 
Um, I forget, you know, if I gave the Bears the win or the loss there. But, you know, that's a game I think the Jags can win. So, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, it'll be interesting to see that. Two young quarterbacks going at it. Caleb Williams and Trevor Lawrence, of course. And then Week 7 against the Patriots. Now, that game's at home. And we'll see, you know, if, if Drake May's starting at that point. Maybe it's a little later in the season for that. I'd give the Jags the win. I'd give the Jags the win there. Then against the Packers, yeah, that game is uh, it's a tough game there. I mean, I think the Jags could win that game as well, but it's going to be tough. Um, I, I think I, 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 I can't remember. I, maybe I had the, the Jags upsetting the Packers when I did the Packers schedule. I got to go back and watch. You know these schedule the the schedule breakdowns for these teams because I don't remember what exactly I said for you know every uh, for the teams that I did already, um, especially the NFC teams because you know now we're pretty much we're, we're almost done we're almost done here we got one more AFC South team and then we're in the uh, we're in the AFC West but you're gonna have to wait a little bit for that because uh, next week I will not be here so. Um, yeah, so against the Packers, I, I think that could be an upset, but we'll see. The Eagles, I, I think that one that one is a loss, in my opinion. I think the Eagles are going to be really good this year. Um, you know, I've, I've said that a lot, but I, I'd give the Jags a loss there. I think they get back on track and they beat the Vikings. You know, we'll see if J.J. McCarthy is starting at this point. Against the Lions, that one's a tough game. I think the Lions probably win that. And then, like I said, I think they split against Houston. I think they pro I, I think they might split against the Titans. I think they could sweep the Titans, but I, I think I'd give them the split. I'll give the Titans the respect there. And I think I had them upsetting the Jets just because Aaron Rodgers does not play well in Florida. And that would be a huge win. I mean, if the Jags are kind of like fighting for a wild card spot, that would be a huge win against the, uh, against the Jets, especially if the Jets you know, live up to their expectations, and, you know, hopefully they do. Otherwise, I'm going to look very foolish. But, I I mean, if Aaron Rodgers is playing at, the, at this point, which I, you know, I hope he is, because, you know, I'm still a little, you know, I have my concerns. But, yeah, maybe they do upset the Jets here. If the Jets are playing really well. So, I give the Jags the win. Um, then against the Raiders, that's a tough game. The Raiders play really well at home. So I that that game I feel like could go either way. I guess like I said they split against the, against the Titans and against the Colts. So I think when I was doing it last night, so I had so it's like eight wins around eight wins. So they split with their three opponents, their divisional opponents. Um, they win against the Vikings, win against the Browns, win against the Jets. So right now I have them at I had them at eight. Oh the Patriots. And then, uh, you know, against the Bears, if they win that, you know, it's around eight wins. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a tough schedule. It is definitely a tough schedule. Um, you know, be, again, you, to start off the season, I mean, weeks one through six, I think, are, are tough games. Uh, and then, like I said, the middle part of the season, you know, weeks eight through 13, that's a tough stretch there. And I, I just think that, you know, I know the Texans, we look at them as the favorites, but, you know, I feel like the other three teams, you know, I, I don't want I don't know if I'm going to say like they're dead even, but, you know, those are, those are going to be tough games for all of them. You know, I don't like the Titans might be the team that I look at as a team that's going to finish in last place because that's, you know, how I did the rankings. But I mean, I think there's going to be some improvement there. Offensive-minded head coach. They added weapons to help out Will Levis. I mean, if Will Levis plays really well in year two, you know, the Titans could be a problem. But I don't know. I, I'm not willing to say that yet. We're going to go through their schedule tomorrow, of course. But, yeah, so the Jags, I got them right now at eight wins. Uh, the schedule is tough, like I said. I mean, they could flip, I mean, they could flip the Raiders, you know, and be nine and eight because uh, that's what they went last season. Um, you know, maybe they sweep a divisional opponent. If they sweep the Titans, you know, that could get them to nine wins. So, yeah, 
right now I got eight wins, eight or nine maybe. Um, but they could, again, they could come out. I mean, Trevor Lawrence comes out and plays really well. Um, you know, they're, they're gonna win. A, they're they're gonna get a good record. So we'll see how it plays out. But that's kind of how I have it. I think also it's because of what happened last year. I mean, last year kind of, you know, has me down in the Jags a little bit. So, you know, we'll see if they could redeem themselves. The division is better. But, you know, who knows? I mean, also you got to give Travis Etienne the football. Because he was doing really well last year. Put together a good season. So, you know, also give him the rock as well. And, you know, we'll see how these new wide receivers break in. You know, the rookie Brian Thomas Jr., Gabe Davis, to go along with the guys they already have. So, and I and I like the Jags' defensive line, too. I mean, I didn't really talk about the defense, but, you know, I've said it. They added Eric Armstead from the 49ers. You still got Trayvon Walker, and you paid Josh Allen. So that could be a good pass rush. And defense travels. So against some of these better teams, they could give them problems. So, but yeah, I said eight wins. Um, you know, we'll see if I'm correct. But, you know, if, the, if that's the case then and they miss out on the playoffs, then, you know, Doug Peterson's probably gone. So, um, we'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think. How many games do you think the Jags will win in 2024? So, before we go to break, I just want to remind you guys once again... To tip or donate, get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link. That is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So when we come back from our second break of the show, we're going to talk about Brandon Ayuk once again. You know, talk about the meeting between him and the 49ers and did come out positive at least to some reports so we'll get into that and i'll give you my thoughts when we come back from break so stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast <laughs> 